Welcome to the Map With Us video tutorial. In this episode, we are going to cover basic map creation and publishing. This will show you everything you need to know to get started creating and sharing maps. The first step is to go to the site http colon slash slash mapwith.us. Once the page is loaded, we can either enter our username and password or create a new account. We don't have an account yet so we click on Free Registration. This takes us to the account creation page. The first thing we need to enter is a username. This can be just about anything you would like, but needs to be between 4 and 15 characters long. We will try MapMaker. Since two users can't have the same username, we can check to see if ours is available. It is, so we can continue. If the username was already taken, a red X would appear instead of the check mark, and we would try another name. Next, we need to enter an email address. If you ever forget your username and password, you're going to need to know this, so make sure you supply a valid email address that you can remember. Finally, we need to enter a password for our account. Then we need to re-enter it to verify that we know what we typed. At the bottom of the form is a CAPTCHA, which makes sure that you are a human. All you need to do to pass the CAPTCHA test is type in the text that you see in the box. If you can't read it, there are a few options to the right of the CAPTCHA. The first option refreshes the text and gives you new text to try to read. The middle option plays an audio version of the text. And the bottom button is for help or more information about reCAPTCHA. Before we can submit the form, we need to agree to the terms of use privacy policy, and software license. Click on the links to read about these. For time's sake, we are going to agree and click the Create Account button. Now we have created our new account and are taken to the greeting page, which gives some instructions for how to get started on the site. Today we want to make a map, so we will go to the Creator tab. OK, now we are on the Creator tab. Off to the left is a listing of our recent maps. When you create an account, you are given a map by default. Our default map is named Mapmaker's First Map. That's great, but today we want to make a map of Vancouver, Washington and place a photo on it to share with our friends. We could use the map we got for free, but for demonstration's sake, we will make a new map, so we click on the New Map link, which takes us into the map creation mode. When we first enter the creation mode, we are given an empty map of the whole world. To the left of the map, you can see the Tools and Settings area. These are the tools and settings we will use to create our map. Our map is of a city, so we will want to zoom in eventually. Note that we can move the map by clicking on it and dragging. You can also zoom in or zoom out by using the scroll wheel on your mouse or by using the controls in the upper left corner of the map. Since we know the exact address of where our photo is taken, we will save ourselves some work and just type the address into the address field on the lower part of the tool pane. This creates a new map item and places it on the map at the address we supplied. By default, new map items are named Untitled Item. We can do a little better than that, so we cleverly change the name to New Item and click Save. You can see the name of the item change on the map. Now we need to add content to our map item, so we click on Add Component. There are many different types of components we can add. We would like to add a photo, so we click on the File Photo option. This displays a short form with fields for File, Title, URL, and Text. We will start with the first field, File, so we click on the Choose File link. This opens our file management area in the Tools pane to the left of the map. Since we just made our account, we don't have any files uploaded yet. We'd better do that first. So we click on the Upload button. We haven't selected any files to upload yet, so we will click on the Browse button, which opens a window that lets you choose a file from your computer. We locate our file, photo.jpg, select it, and click Open. This is the only file we need to upload, so we can go ahead and click the Upload Now button. Once the file is uploaded, we double-click it to add it to our map item. The next field is the title. We will just call our photo, New Photo. 
The next field is for a URL for the photo to link to. We don't want our photo to take people somewhere else when they click on it. We just want them to be able to view it, so we will leave this field blank. Finally, we will enter a description for our photo. View out the window. Now we are done with our photo, so we click Add Component near the bottom of the Map Item bubble. Now our Map Item has a photo inside of it. As long as we are here, we might as well add a text component to our Map Item as well. We click the Text link and get another small form to fill out. We don't want a title, so we leave it blank and just enter our text, which is Example Text. Then we add this component and can see that it has been added to our map item as well. Real quickly, let's examine the Tools and Settings pane on the left. It is made up of five tabs. The Add and Edit Items tab, which we have been using, the Settings for this Map tab, that contains various settings for the map, and Overlays on this Map tab, which manages the overlays associated with a map. Overlays are a more advanced topic and will be covered in a later episode. The next tab is for finding items and places on the map, and the last tab is the file management area that we have already seen. Now that we have made our simple map, we need to publish it so our friends can view it. To do this, we need to go to the Settings tab in the tool pane to the left of the map. The second section down on the Settings tab is the Publication section. The first item in that section reads, Map is not published. We would like to publish our map so others can view it. To do this, we click on the Settings link to the right. Clicking this link opens a publication checklist. We see that we need to do three things before we can publish the map. The first thing we need to do is set the title. The section above the publication section is the About section. We see that the first item in that section says that the title is not set, so we click the Edit link to name our map. We will call it My First Map of Vancouver and click the Save link. You can see that the title item for our publication checklist now has a check mark by it. The next item in the list is Set Keywords. Right below where we set the title is a place to set our keywords. The keywords are a set of words that uniquely identify and describe your map. These are words that people may search for when trying to find your map. The more descriptive your keywords are, the better chance people will have of finding your map. We enter Vancouver and Washington for our keywords and click Save. Now we have one item left in our checklist, setting the default view. The default view determines what part of the world will be shown by default when somebody views your map. To set it, zoom the map in until you reach the desired level of detail and then center that area of the map in the screen. When your map is where you want it, select Set View. You should see a notice saying that the default view has been updated. Now we are ready to publish. We want to publish our map so anyone can view it. If we wanted to limit who could see it, we could publish it with a password, and then only people knowing the password could view it. For our example, we will just publish it to the community. So we select that box, and then we click Update to publish our map. And that's it. Our map is published. To view our map, we can go to the My Page tab, which has a widget featuring a recently updated map. We see our map, My First Map of Vancouver, by MapMaker, and we can see our keywords listed also. To view our map, we simply click on the link, which takes us to the Map tab and opens our map in viewing mode. As you can see, the map appears exactly how it did when we set our default zoom level, and we can see our item, New Item, on the map. We can click the item and it opens up. Inside, we see our photo and the example text that we added to the item. To view the picture, we simply click on it and it opens in a picture viewer that overlays the map. To go back to the map, we simply close the picture viewer. We hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial. Till next time, have fun making maps. <laughs>